Hello friends, welcome back to Let's Do the Accountancy. So, in previous session, we already saw the concept of advance received as security money. So, let's apply that concept over in this question. So, we are starting with question number seven. Rail consigns to Sahil for sale at invoice price or over. Sahil is entitled to a commission at 5% on invoice price and 25% of any surplus price realized. So this is ordinary commission and 25% of any surplus price that is overriding commission or surplus commission. Rahil draws on Sahil at 90 days side for 80% of the invoice price. So this is bill drawn on Sahil as security money. So in this question, the word mentioned is security money. So the advance is treated as security money. Sahil remits the balance of proceeds after sales, deducting his commission by check. Goods consigned by Rahil to Sahil costing 20,900 including freight and were invoiced at 28,400. Sales made by Sahil were 26,760 and goods in his hand unsold on 31st March represented an invoice price of 6920. Original cost including freight is 5220. Checks received by Rahil from Sahil up to 31st March was 6,280. Others were in transit. Prepare necessary ledger accounts in the books of Rahil. So that is, this is very simple question when the goods are sent. Now the goods are sent at invoice price. Now if you see this uh, question, goods consigned by Rahil to Sahil costing 20,900 including freight and were invoiced at 28,400. So this becomes your invoice price and this is your cost. So we'll start with the accounts. Now in the books of Rahil, so that is Rahil is your consigner. In the books of Rahil, we'll prepare consignment account that we always prepare. Also consignee account and goods sent on consignment account because they have asked you to prepare necessary ledger accounts. Now in this case, there is no abnormal loss. So we are not preparing any abnormal loss account. Also, there is no question of Dell credit commission or credit sales or anything. So we are not preparing any consignment data's account. Okay. So I have already prepared these three accounts in the books of Rahil. Consignment account, Sahil account that is your consignee and goods sent on consignment account. So let's get started. Now this is the basic information that the commission is 5%, 25%, 80% is the advance. But when the goods are sent, then we ask for the advance. So first we'll start with this entry. Goods consigned by Rahil to Sahil costing 20,900 including freight and were invoiced at 28,400. So we will say two goods sent on consignment account. When the goods are sent at invoice price, we record at invoice price. So that is 28,400. Now this includes freight that is the expense done by the consigner. Now that is okay because we cannot uh, bifurcate between the cost and the freight. So we will write the total amount. And since this is sent at invoice price, so we'll reverse the loading by goods sent on consignment account loading. Now loading would be invoice price 28,400 minus cost price that is 20,900. So your loading becomes 28,400 minus 20,900. So that comes to 7,500. So 7,500 is your loading. So this is recorded in invoice price and out of invoice price when we did a cost we get the loading. Second effect of this goes to goods sent on consignment account by consignment account 28400 and again to consignment account for the loading amount 7500. Next when the goods are sent on consignment we will ask for the advance. Now do, uh, do uh, be careful that the advance is uh, given in the first paragraph so don't forget to pass the entry for this that when the goods are sent Rahil draws on Sahil at 90 days side for 80% of the invoice price as security money so this bill is drawn as an advance and advance is treated over here as security money so first of all we'll pass the entry for this advance now we have drawn we are, we are in the books of Rahil so we are Rahil we have drawn bill on Sahil so for us the entry would be Bills receivable account debit to Sahil account. So buy bills receivable account. If we receive cash bank, so we pass the entry as cash bank to party. That is Sahil. If we receive bill, we say bills receivable to Sahil. This is your advance. 
Now advance is how much? 80% of the invoice price. So 28400 into 80% of the invoice price they have specified. So take the invoice price 28400 into 80%. So that comes to 22720. So that is the entry for the advance. Now uh, this commission will be passed when we write the entry for the sales. So next sales made by Sahil was 26760. So the entry would be uh, for sales would be sell Sahil account debit to consignment account by Sahil account for sales 26760 and this amount is receivable from Sahil. So Sahil account debit to consignment account for sales 26760. Now we find out the commission on this but we'll wait for the commission and we'll complete this paragraph first and goods in his end unsold on 31st march represented an invoice price of 6920 original cost including freight is 5220 now this is the best part here we we are not required to do any valuation of stock because they have already given the invoice price of the closing stock and also the cost when we did a cost from invoice price we'll get loading also so in this question we are not going to do valuation of closing stock so directly entry for closing stock by stock on consignment account now this basic entries are very simple because we have done many times 6920 this would be recorded in invoice price and the stock reserve would be debited to stock reserve account stock reserve is for loading on closing stock to stock reserve account this is for loading on closing stock so that would be 6920 minus 5220 so that comes to 1700 so 1700 is the loading so this is done checks received by Rahil from Sahil up to 31st March was 6280 so we have received check so entry for the check received is bank account debit when checks are received we say bank account debit to credit the giver Sahil account I am leaving some space for the commission entry and then I am writing by bank account this is for checks which are received for 6280 and there are still some checks which are in transit so we can say by check in transit account or we can say bank in transit and in bracket we can write as checks and there are some checks which are in transit but they have not specified that figure so that would be our balancing figure so if you see this question or this paragraph this is done good send is done Invoice price recorded, invoice price loading is reverse, sales entry is done, closing stock entry is done, stock reserve that is loading is reverse on the same, check received entry is done and others will in transit so we have already written so that we don't forget that there are some, some amount which will come in transit ok so that is that would be the balancing figure. Now coming to the first paragraph, Rahil consigns to Sahil for sale at invoice price or over, Sahil is entitled to a commission at 5% on invoice price and 25% of any surplus price zero lies. So we'll prepare a working note on this. Working note 1. Commission. Now in this question, this commission is going to be important. What is my total sales price? Total sales amount is 26,760. And they have specified that Sahil is entitled to a commission of 5% on invoice price. So out of which now this sales would be at selling price now whatever the sales which is at invoice price on that will give commission at 5% and 25% on of any surplus price realized so that would be price over invoice price that is selling price minus invoice price and on that commission would be 25% so this is something like this if the goods are worth of 100 consigned at 150 that is 50 rupees is the loading so if the goods are of 100 consigned at 150 that, that is 50 is loading and further if the consignee sale those goods at 180 so 180 is the selling price so 180 is selling price out of which invoice price is 150 so on 150 they get the commission of 5% and on balance 30 rupee 30 they get a commission of 25% but in this question the problem is we don't have the bifurcation of the sales also we don't have what is the loading element, what is the equation of loading, what is the invoice price in this selling price and what is the surplus price. So this is our question mark, how will we find out? Now in this case what we can do, generally if we want to find out cost of goods sold, what we do, opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. Now if we take this three figures at cost, we get cost of goods sold that is opening plus purchase minus closing stock gives you cost of goods sold 
Similarly, if I take all these figures at invoice price, we will get sales at invoice price. So see what we'll do. If we take opening stock at invoice price, add for purchases over here purchases goods sent on consignment. So goods sent on consignment at invoice price less closing stock at invoice price. Then we will get sales at invoice price. If we take this three elements as cost, we get cost of goods sold. That is sales at cost. If we will take this three elements at invoice price, we will get sales at invoice price, correct? So now I just have to put this three figures. Now in this question, if we see our consignment account, we don't have opening stock. So opening stock is dash. Goods sent on consignment at invoice price. So it is at invoice price 28,400. And closing stock at invoice price. So that is stock on consignment. This is also at invoice price because we have reversed the loading. That is 6920. So if we deduct 28400 minus 6920, that comes to 21480. So this is the sales at invoice price. So guys, we are not taking this three element as cost because we don't want sales at cost. We want the bifurcation as sales. Out of the sales, how much is the invoice price? Up to the invoice price, they get 5%. And whatever the price the consignee realized over and above the invoice price, they get extra commission of 25%. So if I want to find sales at selling, uh, sales at invoice price, so this this should be invoice price. If I want to find out sales at invoice price, we will take all the three elements at invoice price. We get sales at invoice price. Now out of this 26760, which is the selling price, out of this 21480 is your invoice price that we have found off over here and the balance or we can say surplus prices 26760 minus 21480 so that is 5280 so the consignee has sold goods over and above the invoice price but out of the selling price up to the invoice price the price was 28480 and over and above the consignee has realized the surplus price of 5280 the commission on this would be at the rate 5%, at the rate 25%. So just multiply 5280 into 25%, 1320 and 21480 into 5%, that is 1074. And when we total this up, total commission, it would be 1074 plus 1320, so that is 2394. That is your total commission. So again, this was a different way of calculating commission. Now we'll pass the entry for this commission. Commission is an expense for the consigner. So debited to consignment account and it is payable to consignee. So we say to Sahil account for commission. And since we have prepared the working note, we can say working note one. Now when you prepare working note in your exam, it is okay if you don't do this because this we have done again. This is this was just for your explanation that what we, what we have to do in this question. So this is just explaining that we are bifurcating our selling price into invoice price and surplus price. So total commission is 2,394. Second effect in sale account by consignment account for commission 2,394. So that is the done for the commission. Next, Rahil draws on Sahil at 90 days side for 80% of the invoice price as security money. Now this is the concept of security money. If we see our question, this statement was not given that it is received as security money. What we have done, out of this 26,760, this is advance, this uh, minus advance, minus commission, minus checks already received and balance would be checks in transit. So we would have adjusted the entire advance, again part of the goods sold. Why part of the goods sold? Because there is still closing stock. So this is only part of the goods sold. We don't know how much is the goods sold, 80%, 70% or 50%, but only part of the goods sold. So then we would have adjusted the entire advance against the part. But when they specify if it is received as security money, we have discussed in our previous session that the proportionate amount of this advance will get carry forward. So we will set two balance carried down. This we carry forward on the closing stock. So how much is our closing stock? 6920 advance was received on invoice price. So it would get carry forward on closing stock at invoice price into how much is the advance? 80%. So on this 6920, 6920, 80% would get carry forward. 
so that is 6920 into 80%. So 5536 will get carry forward. It will not get adjusted against this sales. And the balance amount we will receive from Sahil, that is consignee, is checks in transit. They, they, the checks are sent, but it is still in transit. In transit means consignee has sent the check, but the consigner has not yet received those checks. So they are in transit, they are on the way. So now we can total this up. Okay, first of all, we always close our consignment account. Now if we see our consignment uh, account, the goods are sent, loading is reversed. Expenses are not mentioned, it is already included in this. Sales entry is done, on this commission is calculated and closing stock is done and on that loading is reversed. So when we total our consignment account, our credit side is more. So that is 7500 plus 26760 plus 6920. 41,180 minus 28,400 minus 2,394 minus 1,700. So that is 8,686. This is our profit which will be transferred to PNL account. So to PNL account, profit on consignment. Now, when we close Sahil account, now since this was the advance feature security, this was important that out of this advance, part of the amount is reversed. That would get carry forward in the next period. In next period when the part of the goods, balance of the goods will be sold against which this advance that this is 5536 will get adjusted. So that we keep as a security, this we will not adjust till the goods are with the consignee. Once all the goods with the consignee are sold, we will adjust the entire advance amount. So that is the concept of security money. So now total this up 26760 plus 5536 minus 22720 minus 2394 minus 6280 this comes to 902 okay how much was the total 26760 plus 5536 32296 so uh, this is advances deducted commission is deducted this checks already received and these are in transit and closing your third account that is good sent on consignment account 28400 28400 28,400 minus 7,500 that would be the cost 20,900 so that was in your question goods costing 20,900 and the cost is adjusted against your trading or purchases account so to trading or purchases account so guys that's it now always remember whenever you are a, you want to find out any stock amount or sales amount or closing stock amount this is always helpful that opening plus purchase, now this is your purchase, minus closing gives you sales. If you take this three figures at cost, you get sales at cost. If, we if you take this three figures at selling price, you will get sales at selling price. So whatever base you take, take for the same. Now don't take goods sent at cost and closing stock at invoice price. You cannot deduct uh, invoice price from the cost. So take the same element that I have taken all this three at invoice price. If the sales is given and if you want to find out closing stock, then what you can do? Opening plus purchase minus sale, that gives you unsold stock. So guys, that we do in our valuation also. And uh, the commission over here, there was ordinary commission and Dell Credit Commission. So this commission working was important. And this advance received as a security money and that amount gets carried forward. That is important. The uh, rest of the question was quite simple, but that was a different kind where the basic expenses are not there or the loading equation is not there directly they have given invoice price and cost so i hope you understood this question if you have any doubt you can just post in the comment section below thank you